Okay, nice to have you here, uh, Philippe. Hey, hi, Christian. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's let's get it started. Uh, and when I uh, take a look at your photos and your portfolio, mm -hmm. I see a lot of joy and celebrations and uh, happy people. Like, uh, is that something uh, that you see in Belgium all the time during weddings, <laughs> or is it just you? No, I, I'm afraid not. It's it's not something. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's something you see like like in 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 some weddings, but I, I think I, I I noticed that people are telling me that there's a lot of joy and and there's a lot of playful images in my portfolio. But I think um, I think it's just me. I think these are the things that I love to do and love to shoot. And it's it's something I'm always depending on what's happening during the day. So. Um, I guess these are the things that I, I love to pick out and put in my portfolio, I, I guess, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you're you're focused on, on capturing those happy moments, uh, uh, yeah. probably. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm, I'm focused um, anyway on, on, on moments during the entire day. I, my, my main goal in every wedding is to, to capture as many uh, little and, and big moments during during the day and, and make it um, and combine them to, to create a story and and if these happen uh, these moments are are like happy moments then it's it's great of course but if there are tears and there are um, emotions or other emotions it's it's fine by me too as long as it's real and and pure and 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 the way it is that that's that's what I like in in, in weddings and, and emotions yeah yeah okay well um i'm gonna ask you a few like quick uh, questions uh, to get to know you a little bit um so what do you like to do in the weekends when you don't have a wedding ah that's a good question i love that question um uh, when when i don't shoot weddings um i love to uh be with my family just um ha when when there's no wedding i love to be woken up by my kids and I love to go to the to the um, to the bakeries and just have have breakfast together. That's I I love to have breakfast with my kids when I'm not at the weddings, um, and and just be um, just be with them and just enjoy uh, little moments. Yeah. Um, that's that's the most important thing when I'm not shooting weddings. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Got to take all the time that you can have with yeah. them, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do you have a, like a favorite sport that you like to do? Are you active? Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't, um, I'm not allowed uh, to, to uh, do a lot of sports in the weekends that I'm free because my, uh, my wife likes me to be with, their, with the kids. And so I try to do a lot of sports in, in, week, in weekdays. I try to make my schedule every week and I um, put my sports, I, I like to, to ride a bike a lot lately. So I'm, I'm, um, I think I'm riding a bike like, I think maybe eight hours a week, but I, I have to schedule it. I have to schedule it in my, in my uh, week plan. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do, but I'm doing it in the week, not in the weekends. Okay, so what's your favorite camera brand? Um, huh, that's a good one because I just, I'm in some kind of transition. Uh, um moment right here and oh, i've always shot with canon um and, but i bought um a sony last year and i'm almost sold all my canon gear right now i'm i'm having two sony's i have a sony a9 and a sony a7 III, and that's what i'm going to shoot my weddings with this year because i love it uh, I, I love everything about it. Uh, they are light. They, um, it's, it's the, the ISO is great. I love to work with it. Um, I just have uh, one Canon left because I'm not sure how I will work with my flashes with Sony. Uh, so uh, at this point, I'm still uh, a little bit in transition. But I, I, my favorite brand at this moment is absolutely Sony. I, I love what they are doing. Okay, so and you have a favorite lens that you use? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's it's hot. When when I buy something new, uh, it's always my favorite lens. 
and uh, I bought the Sony A7 with uh, with the 28 millimeters, and it's just a little bit extra. I have um, I've been working at the 35 for a long time, and I, I love a 35, but the 28 gives me gives me just a little bit more extra space. I don't know, and I love how my images look. They're like wide. There's a lot of information in it, and that's my favorite combo right now. The the A9, I guess, with the with the 28 millimeter. Okay, so uh, you have to choose between posing or photojournalism. Which one would it be? Oh, that's an easy one, right? <laughs> no, it's it's absolutely uh, photojournalism. Um, I like okay. to make a documentary. Um, yeah. So, what's your favorite city in Belgium? Uh, absolutely, Ghent. Ghent is the <laughs> most beautiful city in Belgium, by far for me. The city where you can do like everything you can go out you can eat you can just yeah. Yeah. enjoy the city i i love it okay yes. so do you have a, a favorite follow on social media somebody you like to follow i try not to follow too many people because um for me it could be, it, it could be something else as photography right it's just something mm -hmm. you enjoy following um, I enjoy following, um, I've been to an exposition lately of a Belgian photographer, um, Stefan van Vleteren, and he's a portrait photographer, uh, and I love what he's doing, so um, I'm always blown away by the images that he's, that he's posting, or the image that I see on, on, on social media. Yeah. So are there any other photographers that you get inspired by, um, or in the, in the past? Yeah, too many, too many uh, photographers, um, and uh, oh, there are so many wedding photographers that are so good and so great and doing awesome stuff. It's just too many for me to to follow. So uh, really, I'm trying not to 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 look at it too much. Um, if if I have to choose a few photographers, it would be probably um, Alex Webb or something. Um, or, or like Sebastião Salgado or, or people like, like that, that are really inspiring. And of course, many wedding photographers, but I try not to be, um, or not to, be, to, to inspi be inspired too much by wedding photographers. I want to just do my own stuff. Uh, look yeah. at myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you have to choose between a likes or waffle or Belgian fries, what would it be? It, fries definitely. <laughs> I no, definitely fries. I'm not like the dessert guy. I love. I like, I like more the, the 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 regular stuff. I, if I could choose in a restaurant between like um, the dish before the meal or or after, I would choose before. I don't know how you call it right now, but I'm not really the dessert guy. Just the fries, absolutely fries. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, take a look at your favorite image. Mm -hmm. We've got three of them, and um, uh, like the first one, we have it here mm -hmm. on screen with uh, with the little kid and, mm -hmm. uh, playing with the rings, and everybody's excited about it or uh, a bit scared, maybe that something will happen to it. Yeah, yeah, I so. think this moment is a moment where she she. I think she had to bring the, the, the rings to the couple and she almost dropped them. And I think the, the people behind her, her they, those are her parents. So the guy she, she's uh, behind her is the, is the dad uh, of her. And uh, I think their reaction is just, is just great. Um, this is a very important image to me because it's my first uh, award ever. Um, it's, it's an image that I shot a long time ago. And uh, it's, it's, I think it's a coincidence, but it, it's also my best friend who is the dad of the girl. So, so these, this girl is uh, called Julia and she's, the, our, she's one of the best friends of, our, of my son. Um, so we are great friends and they are also my first award ever. So um, I, I love this image also because it's just a moment. And I, I have to admit, it's kind of being lucky that I'm in the right spot at the right time. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's my all time favorite image, this one, yeah. Okay, yeah, you see the, um, 
uh, the composition is really tight. Like mm -hmm. everything in the frame is, um, yeah, has a meaning uh, mm -hmm. for the image. See, mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, you say this was your first award. Um, that, did that change anything for you? Uh, I don't think this image um, in particular uh, changed anything, but it, uh, it, it means for me that um, in that period, I, I still shot um, a lot of uh, post stuff and, and things that I thought I had to shoot during a wedding day. And this was like hmm, one of the first times that I um, felt my images. Um, I, for me, it's, it's super important that you can feel an image. When you look at it, uh, you have to feel some kind of an emotion with it. And I don't, you can feel it in posed images. You can feel it sometimes, but it's, um, I don't feel it very often when it in posed images. Mostly it's, it's like in true moments like this one where I can feel almost what they are thinking, like, whoa, uh, and, and, and that's what I love. And that's what I notice every time again when I shoot something like this, I, I notice like this is for me the most important thing in, in photography. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, you said that um, like this image was your first award. You've been active uh, in the Masters and International Awards for, uh, for quite a long time now. Um, is that, important to you to uh, to be in awards and to compete um in in some kind of way it is um it is important um and awards are kind of important because they uh, they changed for me um wedding photography i think i think uh, awards itself like uh, all all kinds of awards um make uh, uh, us photographers uh, strive to be better. And, and, and it, you notice a, a, a big difference between um, 10 years ago and now because people want to, to win awards, of course. But at the same time, it's, it's some kind of dangerous uh, uh, thing in, in, in awards because um, it's always a subjective thing. Like you cannot, in my point of view, you cannot really um, award creativity um, or 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 being yourself. It's hmm, it's it's a thin line between 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 something that's really important and something that can really get you down. Um, I, I've I've seen a lot of photographers who are really um, who don't feel well when they are uh, not winning awards and. That's an important thing to, to know and to realize that it's always a subjective thing. And uh, we are dealing with, with, with photography, which is some kind of an art form, and it's hard to rate an art form. Um, so it's, it's a thin line. Um, yeah. It's, it's, okay. For me, it's, it's, it's like a, um, I, I have some kind of love. Um, um, uh, how do you call it? A love. Um, or a fair affair with, with, with awards, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at your next image. Mm -hmm. uh, this is happy. Uh, there's a lot of joy in there. Great. Why is this special to you, this image? This image is, is special to me because um, I'm going to admit that at first sight, I have only eyes for the two guys in the middle. I was just shooting um, what they were doing, but when I saw it at home, and this is very important to me um, in shooting with a 35 or maybe a 28 uh, millimeters, um, if I was, I don't remember really if I was using a zoom or something, but I'm mostly working with 35 millimeter. And um, I know for sure if, if I use a zoom here, I would probably zoom in short with, with these guys. Um, and but with using a 35 or 28 or, or a prime lens, I, I often see when I come home that there's more in my, in my frame than I was seeing at the first sight. So uh, this is the most important thing in, in this image is on the right below. And this is the, the, the I think that she's the grandma of, of one of these guys. And she has a total other uh, emotion than the other ones. She uh has some kind of fear that she's going to get like the 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 napkin uh against her head or something i i love that um 
that extra element in this image. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's really, really important to me. Yeah, and it's always, always good to have uh, like a, um, a different story, uh, yeah. contradiction, uh, yeah. and different things to look at. Yeah, that's what I love about this image. And I, I, didn't, I didn't see it when I'm, I was shooting it. I, I, I just saw it when I got home and I loved it, uh, that she was in the frame. Yeah. So do, do you have any specific goals when you go to a wedding? Uh, yeah, I think uh, my main goal is um, to, um, to capture as many moments as I can. And not just, um, just the, 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 the specific, specific moments like, like the, the tears or the laughter or, or the fun, but all the in-between moments. Um, and all these uh, little moments, the big moments, the little moments, the transition moments, um, they, they, uh, if, you, if I can combine them and create a true story of that actual day, that is my main goal. Um, the first thing that I deliver to my clients is a slideshow. And um, I'm always kind of angry with myself if there's something missing in my story. Like, like a transition between two places or something. So story is is most important thing. And I try to evolve more and more in, in being even a better uh, storyteller. Uh, that's my main goal, yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, let's take a look at your, uh, your final third favorite mm -hmm. image, which is a, a, a very complicated image. See, yeah. yeah, with a lot of reflections, and um, mm -hmm. so why is this uh, something special to you? Um, this is special to me because it's it's also one of my uh, it's it's the last wedding that I shot. So very often the the last wedding that I shot is, are still images that I like. Um, but this one is a perfect example for me of compose and wait. This is the moment that they are uh, leaving from their home uh, to, um, I think, the church. Yeah. And it's for me, what I used to do when I started as a photographer is just run around and shoot all kinds of stuff. And this is for me just the moment where I chose one position um, and tried to uh, get the best out of just one uh, position. Um, I've seen her sitting in the car. I see a lot of people running around and I see the reflection. I'm not always a fan of reflection, but in this case, they give me a lot of information. And for me, there's a lot of information in this image. It's not perfect yet because I miss some kind of gesture or maybe the groom or something else, but it tells me a lot. It, it tells me that there's a lot of busyness going on right here. Everyone's going to their car or getting ready to, to, um, to move from their home to the church. And it's, it's a perfect uh, transition photo for me. Um, yeah, yeah, it's artistic also, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, did, you, uh, did you hold the door with your hand to make the okay. reflection perfect? No, I don't think so. I try not to do, no, I don't try to do stuff like that. It's possible that I do it, but in this case, definitely not. Um, because I, it's just, I have not the same image. I, I shoot a lot at this moment. I'm, I'm shooting a lot. I'm, I'm just clicking away. And I have images where the lady in the mill is not in the frame. And that's what makes me that makes for me the biggest difference in these images. She, she's the final element that comes together in this uh, image, the lady in the middle. Um, and I don't think you can. If I was moving the door, she was would probably not be in it. Uh, it's just a thing of waiting until everything hopefully comes together. Um, or, or, or getting the best out of the situation, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, besides wedding photography, you're also uh, very active in uh, personal projects. Uh, like one of your projects is about social workers uh, called the uh, Trots, which is proud mm -hmm. in, uh, in English. Yeah. Um, can you tell me something about it? Um, this project is indeed about social workers in Belgium. Um, in Flanders, um, 
And um, I was asked to, to show what social workers do um, um, to, to explain to an outsider what social work is. It's, um, there's a lot of social work. It, it can be just talking to people, visiting people who are homeless, but it's also um, taking care of people who have dementia or are uh, in a home or, or are uh, addicted to drugs. It's so, um, there's so much social work um, that, um, that it was really a big project to shoot. Yeah. So are, these, are these projects uh, that you do, your personal projects besides weddings, are those important for you, for your development or for, uh, for anything? I think they are, in the last few years, the most important thing that happened to me uh, to evolve into a photographer who just is doing his own thing. Um, before my uh, personal projects, um, I think I was shooting more like other people. Um, and I think uh, by shooting um, personal projects, I think I became more, um, myself in photography and also in, in wedding photography because I can see more what's important to me in photography. I think um, that helped me a lot. Yeah. Personal projects are like liberating freedom. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I can imagine that the, um, there's also a new project that you're uh, just started. Uh, yeah. What's it about? Um, well, I met um, uh, a, a woman who was uh, had um, young dementia in the social um, project, and um, by meeting this lady, I also met a, a younger guy um, who is uh, at my age. He's even younger, and he uh, is diagnosed too with young dementia. So this guy has um, two kids the same age as me. Uh, he is almost. Uh, same age and his guy is um, uh, yeah he's really sick um, and and what I wanted to do after the personal project of, of Trots is um, it was really hard to connect with all kinds of different people um, I had to connect every time again so I wanted a personal project where I could just go to and where the situations are all always the same um, when I go out now to shoot uh, Bart, who is the, the guy with young dementia, I just go when I feel like um, everyone knows me. I can come there where he lives right now and I can just do my own thing. And um, I try to going follow. to follow Bart or um, are you going to follow like more people who have young dementia? Yeah, just, just Bart and his family. And he's uh, there's a lot of uh, body working right now. So people come in the home with him and do stuff with him. So I try to, um, to, to just document it. Um, it's not easy, um, but um, yeah, we'll see what, what happens uh, with it. Because I wanted to do this because young dementia is one of the things that affected me the most um, in, in shooting the personal project. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who are homeless, who are uh, addicted and the young dementia thing was something that was something like, whoa, this is, this is really, really hard for, for him and the family. So I wanted to make a story about it. I don't know if it's working out, but I'm trying to. Yeah. So um, it seems like you're um, like looking for the, the most difficult things to, to photograph, right? So uh, that story is, uh, is difficult for them. It's difficult for you to capture, probably. And yeah. so you're going to do it. I don't know. It, it's not something like, oh, I'm, I'm looking for something difficult. It's, it's harder than I thought. Um, it's hard to, to show um, what this disease is doing with him. Um, sometimes it's easier to, to uh, make movies because you can actually see what he's doing. Um, if you meet, if you would meet this guy, you would not at first sight see that there's something going on, and that makes it hard. But it was not something that I was thinking about before. I noticed it by shooting it right now and showing some images to some people. It's not really easy to show what this disease is doing with him. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice, uh, nice to talk 
with you, Philippe. It was, uh, it was a pleasure hearing uh, about your projects and uh, what it does for you, uh, seeing some of your favorite images and why. Thank you for, uh, for doing this and I hope to see you again real soon. Yeah, great, it was fun. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> All right, excellent. Well, Bye. see you later, Philippe. Bye.